Welcome to Circuit Estoril in Portugal, where we're at the launch, sort of, of the Toyota GR Yaris. Now, as you can see, they're not quite finished yet. The finished car is going to be revealed at the 2020 Tokyo Auto Salon in January. But we've come to Portugal for an early taste to drive these prototypes. Essentially, they're finished cars, but we don't get to see the styling just quite yet. Although, if you look around on the internet, you might actually see some leaked pics. But we do know a bit about what's under the skin. So let me just talk you around this car and, yeah, give you an idea of what to expect from the Toyota GR Yaris. Right, so it's all-wheel drive. It's a small hatch, kind of like your first dress T Polo GDI size, but it is all-wheel drive. It's got quite a clever system. It's called a high-speed uh, high coupling system. So there's no center diff as such. It's got a front diff and a rear diff, but apportioning the torque between them is a little sort of electronic coupling. There's three modes. Normal, in which it's 60-40, front to rear. Put it in sport, it then goes to 30-70, front to rear. Put it in track, and it goes to 50-50 but that's just a baseline level. It can split 100% of the torque to either end, so I can go 100, 0, 0, 100, depending on what you, what, depending on what the car feels, you know, brake inputs, steering inputs, throttle inputs, all that sort of thing. So essentially it's continuously variable, variable, but it's got three modes that sort of give it a baseline to make it either a bit more exciting or a bit more stable. So, 1.6 litre, three cylinder engine, that's right, it's just three cylinders. But we don't know the final power and torque yet, but they're saying at least 250 horsepower and at least 350 newton meters. So 185 kilowatts, 350 newton meters, zero to 100 in probably under six seconds. Six speed manual only. Uh, the engine's pretty clever. They chose a three cylinder because it's a bit smoother. Uh, it's very light, it's very small, very compact. And clearly they have no trouble getting pretty big power out of it as well. It feels pretty pokey, revs to about 7,000 RPM. Not quite, that, not, not, that, not that strong at the top end, but still a pretty potent power plant. Apologies, it's a bit windy here. What else to say? So, three cylinder engine, all wheel drive. We've got massive brakes. So these front brakes are bigger than the front brakes on a Toyota Supra. Now that's important because you might think this car's quite heavy being all-wheel drive, but it's actually 1,300 kilos, curb weight. So going down a size has allowed the car to be quite small, quite light. New body shell. Uh, this will form the basis of the next WRC car. They work closely with Tommy Mackinnon Racing to make the shell as sort of stiff and as light as an aerodynamic as possible. As you can see, that super slope roof there for aerodynamics. Body shell stiffy, got these wider tracks. The roof is actually going to be carbon fibre, which is pretty remarkable in a car like this. So, in terms of lightweight, we've got aluminium bonnet, aluminium doors, carbon fibre roof, and an aluminium hatch. So, that's 38 kilos that they've pulled out of the body shell with those, with those measures. But, as I said, still got massive brakes on it. Bigger front brakes than a Toyota Supra. Four piston calibers up front. Two pistons at the rear. Tires, you can see. So this car is on Dunlop Sport Max tires. 225-40-18s. 18-inch wheels. So a decent rubber footprint. Not massive, but enough for a small car like this. There are two going to be two grades. This is the standard car. There's going to be two grades, this is a standard car, and this is going to be the performance pack. So that gets you Michelin tyres, but it also gets you Torsen LSDs front and rear. So as we spoke about, the all-wheel drive system can shuffle power front and back. But by adding the Torsen diffs, they can control the power output left to right. Having driven them both back, on, back to back on track, you want the diffs. If you're going to drive it on track anyway. It's a very cool car. Uh, here we go, what else have we got? We've got big brakes, we've got the engine, six-speed manual gearbox, six-speed only. Gearing is pretty short, decent shift, easy to heel toe. It's a good little fun car on track. Uh, we'll have a 
proper test later on obviously check out the full review to see what it's actually like but yeah essentially it's a good fun car um, plenty of grip reasonably quick there's only two ESP modes on or off. There's no ESP Sport mode. So if you really want to get the best out of the car, you need to turn the electronics off. Not sure about that, especially on the road, but about to go for a road drive, so we'll see how it goes then. Uh, sounds pretty cool being a three-cylinder. Kind of sort of that offbeat note that you get. What else have we got? So we'll just have a quick look at the interior. The interiors are all covered up because it's a prototype. But as you can see, six-speed manual gearbox. Here's the all-wheel drive selection switch. So you push it for normal at 60-40, twist it left to get to sport at 30-70, track 50-50. Trying to think what else, I've, if I've forgotten anything about the mechanicals, I don't think so. So let's just come around here, left-hand drive prototypes, obviously being in Europe. You get this really cool steering wheel. It's a really small wheel, thin rim. Steering's really nice, light, accurate, big fan. Seats, not sure yet because we haven't seen them. Look at that, old school manual handbrake. How good is that? As I mentioned, ESP, that's either on or off. Cool little drilled pedals. There's the dials. Rev to seven, but you kind of want to get your shift done by about six and a half. Three door only. So this is only going to be manual, only going to be three door. Uh, again, they've done that for the WRC car. This is the only three door Yaris. There's no normal three door Yaris. So yeah, that's a quick look at the Yaris, or the GR Yaris, right? It's going to come to Australia Q4 2020. The big question, pricing. Not sure, not sure. And that's the big question. If it's, you know, 35, 40 grand, fantastic. If it's 50, probably a bit pricey. So we'll see how they go. Toyota Australia are very excited about this car. It's the second GR product after the Supra. So yeah, we'll bring you more details. Obviously, we'll bring you the full reveal of the car from the Tokyo Auto Salon next year. Go and read the review. It's an exciting car to get, it's an exciting car that's coming. It's a car to get excited about. It's a proper Toyota hot hatch. Obviously, it's not a joint venture like the Supra or the BRZ. That makes Toyota very excited about it. It's a car that they've done start to finish. Uh, yeah, so Toyota GR Yaris. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Let us know.